Next up, we have uh, Will Munger from Canyon Country Rising Tide, and he's going to talk to us about something that will have a direct impact on our air quality here along the Wasatch Front. Hey, good evening, everyone. My name is Will, and I grew up in Cache Valley breathing inversion air, and I work with a group called Canyon Country Rising Tide, and we're confronting the root causes of climate change in Canyon Country. I work in rural East Utah with ranchers, anglers, and hunters fighting the first commercial U.S. tar sand mine. This is going to be a strip mine. It's going to strip mine 32,000 acres of the East Tapafoot Plateau, and this is just the beginning of a massive infrastructure expansion <laughs> that the dirtiest energy companies on Earth are trying to make here in Utah. And there's a couple contradictions that I want to talk about. One, where we've seen this sort of development up in Canada, we see climate scientists, water scientists, and air scientists muzzled by the Harper administration when they speak out about the dangers of tar sands mining. And we can't have our scientists muzzle. The people who are warning us about the imminent dangers to the air and water need to be able to speak freely without political intimidation. And while this is something that's directly going to affect the water of the ranchers and the people that live downstream, it's going to affect people here in the Wasatch Front as well. There are three refineries that are trying to expand to process tar sands, the dirtiest form of fossil fuels that exist on Earth. These companies have names, and these companies have CEOs who live and don't live here in the valley. And we need to hold those CEOs accountable because our politicians are not, and it's up to us to do so. And these contradictions run even further. On the air quality board sits members of the Tesoro Corporation. Yeah. The Tesoro Corporation is trying to expand their refinery. In the midst of an air crisis, they're trying <laughs> to make things worse yeah. to be able to process the dirtiest fuel on earth that the people who are they gonna impact are people like me, my family, the kids that live around me, for their profit, a profit that's going away from Utah. This is an economic model that is ultimately unsustainable. And while we have to challenge these permits and fight them, and we can do that because there is a national movement growing to roll back tar sands refineries, if you look to communities like Manchester, Texas, who is a predominantly Latino community living right next to the Valero refinery processing tar sands fuel from Canada, at the end of the Keystone XL pipeline, or movements in Richmond, California, where historically black refinery communities standing up to these corporate polluters, there is a national and continental movement growing, and we need to think ourselves as part of this growing movement for climate justice, which means clean air in the Wasatch Front, clean water in Uinta County, and a sustainable and healthy future <laughs> for kids in Utah. So this fall and winter, I want us to think beyond Representative Chris Stewart, because it's not about him, it's about us. And we can't rely on politicians and corporations to secure our future. What we can rely on is each other. So I encourage everyone, talk to someone that you don't know at this rally. Talk to a Mormon mom, talk to a physician, talk to someone from Peaceful Uprising or the Utah Tar Sands Resistance. Talk to the anarchists that are out here. Talk to everyone because we have to build a movement that involves everyone to reclaim power because this is our community, our life, and we are the people that get to say so. So it's time to move, let's do it. Woo!